So this is just a general overview of VEX pushback stuff. So let's get into it. So this is just the standard dramatic VEX Welcome intro. to the 2025-2026 VEX V5 Robotics Competition. And this year's game, Pushback. Made up of two teams each. So this is just the first point I want to make. Again, not the best hero bots. Um, I feel like they could have done a lot better. This giant gear here is not going to help you get over those bars you saw on the edges or just anything really that's a really low clearance. Um, and then it's moving in the opposite direction as the wheels, so it just doesn't work. Um, and then also you have these traction wheels right here instead of flex wheels, which just does not seem like a wise decision to me. Is block a geometric shape? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Where does that name come from? So I've been playing since spin-up, and this is the most game objects I've had so far. But comment to tell me if this is the record for most game objects. Yeah, so they probably implemented these loaders just because of all the problems with over-under, where you had to not bring them in with the velocity, and then not bring them in from... Uh, higher height than like a certain amount because that was just really painful um and then they also student safety i guess they care about that too um so that's probably just a reason why they implemented these i don't really see why else other than to fill the field because it is kind of empty all four scoring locations can be used by either alliance yeah so i like how they didn't mess up the autonomous with this one like they did at first with high stakes so that's nice The animation here is just so trippy. So there are five on each end and then five in the middle, but if you scooch that, then it's going to be four in the middle and then five on each end still. So that's kind of interesting. So that's kind of interesting because you could make a bot that clamps on the end and then has a string attached to that, so that way they can't, like your opponents can't push any blocks through. Um, so that might be a mechanism, but it depends on the expansion rules, because we don't know yet. But if you can expand uh, just however you like, then you can just do a string and then have your bot attached. Or you could just have your bot naturally have a clamp or just have enough torque in the drivetrain. Alliance with worth 10 also be awarded to the alliance that fills the majority of the upper or lower center goals. So this does make a total of 34 points you can get from these bonus scores, and then you have all the uh, blocks. All Just keep that in mind. Must begin the match. Alliances have the opportunity to earn an autonomous win point by completing a specific set of tasks during the autonomous period. So those tasks look like it might be scoring some blocks in each of the goals, the middle one and one of the edge ones, and then possibly removing them from one of the loaders. That's my guess, at least. The one minute, 45 second driver control period begins once the autonomous bonus winner has been determined. In pushback, there are no possession limits. So no possession limits. It depends on the expansion rules, but this means that a giant net on top of your bot is probably a good option, um, just so you can store all of your opponent's blocks. Robots are free to possess as many blocks as they will receive 30 points. Okay, so there's a little to talk about here. This is 30 points versus the third, uh, 34 that you could get from all of the bonuses in the other goals. So this is a crazy thing you definitely want to do, but it does mean you have to trust your teammate a lot. Um, and it seems like there are a few strategies for getting in here. So one would be to make a half size bot that is just half the width, so then you can both slide in there. Um, that's probably not going to happen, but <laughs> I don't know, it's an idea. The other way, you can do it like this, make your bot front or back heavy, and then get one wheel over, and then tip, and this seems like probably the easiest way. And the other way would be stacking bots, kind of like people tried in Over Under with climbing another one, where you just have a forklift or whatever, where you lift the other bot up. Okay, so this is just me talking about the field walkthrough a little bit, um, so yeah. Can come in here and uh, remove balls a different way. Yeah, so I like this. I like another doinker opportunity. I love my doinkers. Those are great. Try to get that big 30 point bonus. 
this by double parking. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that conflicting incentive we've created with the no possession limit, allowing you to control as many blocks as you want, expand. You will find out about all the expansion rules, robot rules, all the rules on Sunday when we release our game manual then. And there's some fun details in there, I promise you. But there is a conflicting incentive between the unlimited possession and the expansion that we're allowing to get that unlimited expansion, but also shrinking your robot back down to fit both robots in the end game. Yeah, so this is just kind of interesting because you do want that 30 points right here because that is more than all of the bonus points from these. Um, but it would be really easy for your opponents to clear these goals after the match if the expansion allows because you just have to pull push all of them through. So you have to be careful with that. But because your opponents want the 30 points, you kind of just have to wait until both of you go um, or just nobody goes because if you leave, the other person clears it. And that's just how it would work. So thank you for watching to the end of this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.